Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna and this is a fashion channel, fashion that you can wear into the office, fashion that you can wear on the weekend. We are talking fall fashion trends. New York Fashion Week has just wrapped, honey. That's a wrap. The girls did their thing. I went to two events, I dipped my baby toe in. The girls did their thing, honey. I felt like a beginner, okay, a beginner. This is my first time really participating in anything. The girls did their thing. When I say the girls, I'm talking Monroe Steele, Hilo Lux, Jerenica Mycia, Politics and Fashion, Tanika B, Karen Britchick, Awed by Moni. Honey, the girls did their thing. Kayla Walker, if you are not following these women, subscribe to their YouTube channels. I will leave links in my description box. Check them out, give them a follow. Honey, worth every watch, worth every like. They did their thing, they represented very well. Um, I'm gonna put in the effort next year. I'm gonna prepare. I probably need to start preparing from now. That's what I feel like, because honey. <sighs> okay, let's get into the fall fashion trends, starting with number one, cargo pants. Cargo pants. If you do not own you a pair of cargo pants, honey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because anybody and everybody has gotten them. They're doing cargo denim cargo camo, those Attico pants, the ones that are $1,100. Yes, the ones that are for $1,100. Don't get those, unless that's your lane. Do not get those. Um, there are plenty of other alternatives that are way less than $1,100 that you can get and still be cute. What I love about cargo pants is you can really dress them up or dress them down and you can still be feminine with them on. Number two, cropped everything, honey. Cropped everything. Anything you can crop, just crop it. Okay, make it crop, make it crop, anything, honey. We're cropping blouses, we're cropping sweaters, we're cropping tank tops, we're cropping leather jackets, we're cropping denim jackets, we're cropping trench coats, we're cropping everything that we can crop. Number three, pink, bubble gum pink, honey. Bubble gum pink is everywhere. I don't know if Valentino started it, but listen, the girls is finishing it. Everybody is wearing pink, especially that pink blazer from Zara's. That's $169 with them pink feathers on the end. I saw that blazer about 12 times, 12 times. I'm just trying to see how far into fall are we gonna be wearing pink? I don't know, but Listen, it's out there. It is out there. Definitely get you a couple of pink pieces so you can throw it in and be on trend. White tank tops. White tank tops. And a couple of years ago, I think it was like two years ago, Frankie Shop came out with those padded tees. And they were $75. And we was all like, 75 what? For a white t-shirt, $75? But honey, people was rocking them. People was getting them and rocking them. And then Zara rolled out their dupes. H&M rolled out their dupes. Nasty Gal rolled out their dupes. And everybody was walking around with padded tees. Everybody. Now we have the white tank tops. And Loewe has this white tank top that have people in a chokehold. Seriously. All they got is a little Loewe right here. That tank top's like $400. $400. Honey. $400. It don't matter what kind of tank top it is. If I'm eating my roti and I drip that curry sauce on it, it's going to stain. $400 for a tank top. Number five. Leather. Leather. Vegan leather. Almost fell. <laughs> but leather is definitely in leather shorts, leather pants, leather jackets. Now, every fall, leather, like the moto jackets kind of make its way around. Um, I feel like it's like taking a harder, you know, go at it this year. I'm seeing leather a lot this year. I recently got some pieces from Nasty Gal that was leather. They were really good quality. With the things that I got four pieces in them. These are the leather pants. Let me just show these to you. These are the leather pants that I got from them. And 
girl it's a mess in here this if this camera turn around lord help me and these are like leather bermuda shorts and i also have like a leather shorter shorts as well and i got a top um i have a picture with these i will pop the picture up but overall really good i got everything in a size four which is my normal size and it was a good price as well so i would i would definitely recommend nasty gal if these pieces are still available i will link them in the description box below um but leather definitely number six maxi dresses maxi skirts i've seen so much maxi i love it i love it because i'm not huge on showing my legs um i'll wear like an a-line skirt or a midi but i'm not really huge on just showing my showing my whole leg so i love maxi it's perfect for the office um i wear my slip maxi dresses all year round all year round that's why i don't mind investing in them because i do get my cost per wear out of them i wear them in the summer by themselves i wear them in the fall with a blazer i wear i put it like a blouse or something underneath it once it gets a little bit chilly i throw a sweater on you can wear it with a turtleneck underneath it um you can put a sweater over it you, like it's so many ways that you can wear a slip maxi dress um you can throw your high boots on with them so definitely definitely always worth investing in a really good slip dress but maxi skirts are just everywhere even like long denim skirts long denim skirts also just thinking about that like and that i don't feel like that was out for a while but long denim skirts are in as well so definitely look into maxi which is good because those are really good pieces that you can get your wear out of you're not just wearing them now you're able to wear them into the winter with your knee-high boots and everything else so maxi dresses and skirts coming in at number six number seven natural makeup natural makeup honey ain't nobody got time ain't nobody got time to be spending an hour plus in their bacon ain't nobody got time i really feel like natural makeup and let me know in the comment section if if you can relate to this but i really feel like natural makeup is coming back i really feel like it i don't see like the whole i don't see that Please let me know in the comment section. Number eight. I don't want to say this because I'm I'm not going to be wearing this trend. It's just not for me. And I'm going to really have to sit this one out because I ain't got the body for it. Um, low rise. Low rise jeans. Low rise dress pants. Like I'm starting to see. Like, remember those, like, uh, Bratz dolls where they would wear, like, the low-rise jeans and stuff? I'm starting to see that, and I can't do it. I don't have the, I don't have nothing to hold them up. I don't have nothing to hold them up. My pants get low, they will fall right off this body. So, I'm not going to be in that trend. I'm going to have to sit this one out. But, this video is for y'all, so I definitely want to mention it. Um, low-rise dream, low-rise jeans, low-rise dress pants are coming in at number eight number nine i want y'all to definitely leave some trends that i may not have mentioned in this video in the comment section um but number nine is metallic and sequence the girls want to glow in the dark we want to glow in the dark we want to be seen from the door okay we don't want to wait until you get in to know that we here we want to be seen from the door metallics I mean, metallic colored slip dresses, metallic colored jackets, metallic colored pants. I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with metallic colored hats. But they even started to come out with the metallic boots. I'm starting to see those as well. So honey, metallic and sequins. And the thing is this, I don't know if this is gonna be in because it, it metallic and sequins, you can always sprinkle it, sprinkle it in until around New Year's. Like after New Year's, I don't know. Once we hit into January, February, I don't know. But definitely, September, October, November, December, you gonna definitely see people shining, 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 yeah. We're up to number nine. I think we're up to number nine. <sighs> Ruffle dresses. Ruffle dresses. The girls, I mean, the girls wanna be feminine. The girls really wanna be feminine. And I love it. I have just an idea in my head that I wanna recreate or just create in general. I don't wanna say recreate, but a nice ruffled dress, like, you know, maybe like a midi length or like right above my knee ruffle dress with like a nice leather jacket. The whole soft, hard combination is really what I'm trying to lean towards when it comes to my fashion. Soft would be like the ruffly dress, like a nice ruffly dress with like some boots. And then hard would be like a leather jacket over that. 
that's what I'm thinking about. Like the a feather dress with like a leather jacket, like just things like that. Like that soft hard combination, I feel is like just perfect. And I think that ruffles would definitely help you achieve that. Look. Okay, let's get into the last trend. The last trend. And I have a few things here. So I want you to let me know what your top pick would be. Number one, I have color. And not just any color, everything on a rainbow, honey. Color, green, orange. We talked about pink. Pink had its own category. Um, I don't know about yellow. Purple, I'm seeing so many colors. So I'm really thinking that anything colored is going to definitely be trending. Mini skirts, mini skirt. And I, you know what I like? I like seeing the girls with the mini skirt like hyped up a little bit and then their blouse or something coming out below it. That's what I really like. I'm gonna pop up that look if I could find it somewhere, but that's what I really like. I'm liking that look. I don't know about just mini, mini. I brought I brought a blazer from Anna the Stories and it can't, it, went with a mini skirt. I tried on a mini skirt. I was like, honey, how, I can't even sit down. I ain't even got nothing in the back and I can't even sit down. Like imagine somebody who got a little cut back there. Imagine what they're going to do. Other vote for number 10 would be belts. How do we feel about belts? Yay or nay? Cause last year people was getting a Loewe, that Loewe belt, the one that kind of popped out and the Valentino belt. Those were the two belts last year. It was either one or the other. One, you're gonna get the one or you're gonna get the two. So I felt like those were trendy, but I haven't, I'm starting to see some, but I don't know how we feel about belts. I'm thinking with the low rise jeans, you may need a belt, you know what I mean? But I don't know. So coming in at number 10 would either be the mini skirts, belts, or colors on the rainbow. Mini skirts, belts, or colors on the rainbow. Let's just recap really quickly as we wrap up the video. We talked cargo jeans, cargo pants. We talked cropped everything. We talked pink everything. We talked about leather. We talked about the white $400 tank top. We talked about maxi dresses and maxi skirts. We talked about natural makeup. We talked about every color on the rainbow. We talked about low rise jeans. We talked about belts. We talked about metallic sequins and we talked about ruffle dresses and mini skirts. Guys, that is fall fashion 2022 trends. Thank you so much for watching this video. If I left anything out, please leave it in the comment section below. I love when y'all chat in the comment section. I loved all the feedback from last video. Whew, my eyes was watering. It took me a few takes to make this video, honey, because my eyes was watering. I'm very emotional. I'm very emotional. And when it's around that time of the month, honey, I can sit in here and sob on a commercial. A commercial that people acting for. I'm sitting in there, ooh, ooh, ooh. that, a TikTok video, all of that. Um, speaking of TikTok, I told you guys I was on TikTok. I'm almost at like 1K subscribers, followers, however it goes on TikTok. I don't even know. But I'm on there um, and I'm on Instagram. I crossed 40,000 followers on Instagram, which I'm excited about. My communities are growing. I'm so appreciative. Cause I know I'm not always available cause I'm working, honey. I'm in the office working nine to five, Monday to Friday. Really it's like nine to eight, but I appreciate y'all for sticking it out with your girl, being patient, showing up when I do come through and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed and I will catch you next video. Bye.